Scrub playing in his fourth career game. Missed the majority of the season with a foot injury. See Patrick Beverly trying to call out the signals in the Thunder. With a beautiful slip pass underneath. Charlie Brown to Moses Brown. He, he did deliver on time. Brown will pull up instead in the Thunder. Are having themselves a first quarter here shooting wise. Who made the initial defensive stop on the previous Clippers possession. Brown, no. Moses Brown on the rebound is the last to touch it, so it'll go back to the Clippers. Now coming off of the bench, much like he did in Toronto, but also because of the postseason experience. No on the three there from Charlie Brown. This quick and starting at the point guard. Look at this. We got 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. Is yet to miss as Brown attacks. Hangs in the air long enough to bang it home, plus the foul. He just keeps pulling out a different one. You know, you just saw another different one where he's proven the defense with the basketball, trying to decide should I shoot or pass. Uh, my guy Jay Scrub has eight points. Charlie he, he, Brown he back the other way. It, uh, remember, it was my favorite. Thunder, though, have gone quite a little bit offensively. Seven consecutive misses as Brown tried to give it up to Horde and Horde. Thunder, though, have gone quite a little bit offensively. Seven consecutive misses as Brown tried to give it up to Horde and Horde. Touch from behind the arc. Because sometimes you're out a lot of those games. You can do this right here because you're close to the basket. You know what I mean? But trying to figure out. As Listen to your coach. Don't do that, Pat. Don't do that pass. You're going to be on the bench. Okay? Now, because I'm just telling you. All right, thanks, Scott Moore. Well, when players like Gabriel Deck come to the team, the Thunder really has a, a blank slate for them. But. You know, it's kind of like the movie I saw. As Beverly's going to get free throws. It's called, I'm going to get you, sucker. Get have cut it down to four, under four and a half minutes. Charlie Brown. And Kennard, the rebound for the Clippers. That's a nice little play on that side. In the first half, just another added dimension for that second unit in Ty Lue. Well, we talked about this turnover right here at, at the beginning of the season. And when Sergis. He is just irritated OKC in all three games as Beverly closed the gap, just sucked up that airspace on Brown. Now sets it up, and man, has got another bucket here in the third quarter. Mm. Maybe a tad it's bit a long. Slight, <laughs> slight misalignment. <laughs> well, this has been a game where Charlie Brown Jr., Josh Hall. Well, just seeing how the development of the young players has gone, where they've been uncomfortable. Like tonight, Pokashevsky starting at the point guard. Uh, Darius Baisley getting time in as a playmaker. And, and that's not us looking at the monitors and saying, boy, how did he get that up? That was us watching it live. Just didn't seem like there was enough daylight. But it's been a close game here in the third quarter. Pokashevsky cooling off after that scorching hot first half, but a fresh 14. Fresh up. They have proven that they can build. Now, it, it's certainly helpful when you have a GM like Sam Presti, and he has a treasure trove yeah. of packed picks coming up. With so much skill, a little bit of flair, a little behind-the-back pass. 